My name is Paul Hardiman and I'm the lead for the module in Reproductive Health, which forms part of the MSc in Reproductive Science and Women's Health and or Prenatal Genetics and Fetal Medicine. This video is introducing that module, which I co-run with Professor Stanley Okolo. Both Stanley and I are clinical academics at UCL. I lead a research team which is investigating many aspects of polycystic ovary syndrome, which as you may know is the commonest cause of anovulatory infertility and also the commonest cause of antrum excess in women. I'm also researching the processes required to cryopreserve and thaw human ovarian tissue. I've been a consultant gynaecologist since 1994 and have reproductive endocrine and fertility clinics at University College, the Royal Free and Whittington Hospitals in London. The aims of this module are to provide knowledge into all aspects of reproductive health, including infertility, sexually transmitted diseases, contraception, fertility in the third world and ethical issues, normal puberty and pubertal disorders, and congenital anomalies of the female reproductive tract. The learning outcomes are firstly to demonstrate knowledge of reproductive health, including paediatric and adolescent disorders, reproductive endocrinology, contraception and sexual health, infertility and recurrent pregnancy loss, and reproductive imaging. Secondly, to understand the reproductive issues affecting developing countries. And thirdly, to understand the ethical dilemmas of reproduction in modern society. As well as lectures, the module involves a live surgery session and the Mock Research Ethics Review Committee session. Uniquely on our MSc programmes, we have observation days in a number of our clinics, including my own reproductive endocrine clinic, which relates to this module. The module has been designed to provide a deeper theoretical background for students with a medical degree and also a clinical context to those with first degrees in a science subject. To do this, we will cover most of the major reproductive endocrine disorders, exploring the underlying pathophysiology and the mechanisms of existing and emerging therapies. The content of the module has been prepared to be relevant to students from a range of different ethnic and cultural backgrounds. In all our MSc modules, we have both formative and summative assessment to develop key skills that you will need in your future careers. For this module, there is a written examination at the end, and students are prepared for this with a specific tutorial.